everybody and welcome back to TNA and this is our Wrestlemania this is what TNA lives for this is our bread and butter this is Slammiversary welcome to the most important pay-per-view of the year in my book at least that's how I would book Slammiversary as the most important pay-per-view of the year it's the anniversary of TNA it makes sense uh, so Slammiversary is going to be a tricky one a lot of title shots, a lot of egos clashing, but it should be one for the aged. We are going to actually, I'm going to check. Before I do that, I'm going to check to see if our finances. Yeah, last money, last. Yeah, last money we lost month. So, yeah, there's that. Um, we are not going to spend money on that. So, let's get right into this. Uh, the main attraction is CM Punk versus The Rock. Just hands down, that is what people paid to see, that is what they are here for, and that is by God what they are getting. And The Rock wins cleanly. And CM Punk refuses a handshake. Fine, they have a handshake after the match. But they put on a good match. Uh, and right before that is the World Heavyweight Championship match. A singles match between, not Dixie, Cody Rhodes and Kurt Angle. For the World Heavyweight Championship match, there we go. Uh, Cody Rhodes getting the win here. Um, cleanly. Aftermath. Cody Rose celebrates. Uh, it's like purpose. But not a good match. Uh, let me just quickly check something here. Okay. Um. Uh, but da, but da, what am I doing? What am I doing here? Uh, yeah, I have to book the Exhibition Championship before I forget. Uh, Hardy versus Kenta. That's right. Um, well, that's a 1v1. Nope. 1v1. Right before the World Championship match, we get the Exhibition Championship match. Singles. Uh, Jeff Hardy getting the win over on Kenta. There we go. Uh, the title being the X Division Championship. Uh, Jeff Hardy wins uh, by cheating. The aftermath is Jeff Hardy runs away. The purpose is to continue the feud. Right? Wrong. I need to do that all over again. Oh boy. So, uh, match, uh, 1v1, singles. My nose is so itchy. Uh, Jeff Hardy versus uh, Kanta uh, for the Exhibition Championship. Jeff Hardy winning cleanly no aftermath and the feud um, so that's taken care of now what I meant to do uh, then we'll have Okada versus Tanahashi can I have a last man standing match Yes, I can. Uh, Kaz Chikokata versus Hiroshi Tanahashi in a last man standing match for no championship with Tanahashi getting this win cleanly. The aftermath, uh, no aftermath. The purpose is to continue the feud. And before that, we have the grand championship match uh, 1v1 singles 
Adam Cole defending the championship against Eric Marius. Uh, the Grand Championship, there we go. Adam Cole wins by interference from Matt Jackson. The aftermath is Adam Cole two sweets Matt Jackson to continue the feud. And before that, we have the tag team match. Tag team. Of Tommaso Ciampa and Eric Young taking on Bo Rotunda and Joe Hennig for the World Tag Team Championships. With Tommaso Ciampa getting the win over on Joe Hennig cleanly. Um, aftermath. The Psycho Killers celebrate. The purpose is to continue the feud. Uh, ask Sophie. This is about ready to be ended. Okay, so Knox versus Flair. Singles. There we go. Rebecca Knox versus Ashley Flair for the Knockouts Championship. With Rebecca Knox winning cleanly. The aftermath is nothing. The purpose is to end this feud. And Ricochet versus Pentagon, I need to check the feud. Okay. So, Ricochet versus Pentagon, 1v1. Singles. Ricochet versus Pentagon Jr. For no out, for no championship. Pentagon Jr. wins cleanly. The aftermath is Pentagon Jr. cheap shots after a handshake. The purpose is to continue the feud. And that pre show match will be. Um, um, why not a cross brand match? So we'll have a cross brand match. It's going to be Michael Nichols and Shane Hayes versus Brian Kendrick and TJP. And it's for no championship. And Kendrick and TJP beat Michael Nichols and Shane Haste cleanly. No aftermath. The purpose is just to put on a good match, really. So let's start the biggest pay-per-view of TNA's calendar year. Are you ready for this? I am. Let's do this. So, the pre-show, an 80 match quality, 68 overall, the Mighty Don't Neil lose to Kendrick and Perkins, and immediately, right off the bat, Explosion gets a nice lead. So this, this sets up for the final match, which is also Impact vs. Explosion. Ricochet vs. Pentagon gets an 88% uh, overall rating, 94 match quality. Uh, 77 match quality, a 78 overall rating. Uh, for Knox versus Flair, uh, they've been feuding for quite some time now, uh, and uh, Ashley Flair taps out to the disarmer. Uh, 73 for Psycho Killer versus Butter than Perfect, not bad at all. I uh, expected a little worse, but you know, still solid. An 82 for Adam Cole versus Eric Marius. Adam Cole successfully retains the championship. Thanks to Matt Jackson, uh, a 100% match quality, but a 98 overall rating for Okada versus Tanahashi. Uh, a five-star match. There you go, the five-star match. Jeff Hardy and Kenta both gain overness from their feud ending. Uh, Jeff Hardy retains the X Division Championship. He, I think, he is the longest reigning champion of this series. 
uh, world champion that is the longest reigning overall champion is Adam Cole with the grand championship he's about half a year I believe a half year reign right now um, 91 overall rating for Cody Rose's Kurt Angle for the world heavyweight championship and an 84 for CM Punk versus The Rock not not a great match but a nice crowd reaction and this gets an 83 oh I was hoping for better probably should have built up the rock versus punk match with a feud huh I didn't want to make a feud out of non-wrestlers though so yeah I think what really brought it down was Kendrick and Perkins versus TMDK which is silly because it was the last edition anyway an 83 ain't bad I'll settle for it uh let's see our attendance we have superior star power than our wage. They have better workers than us. We are the more professional promotion. That's neat. 3208. Okay. And they had what? 3468. 3226. And we had 660. Whoa. 6166. 6, whoa. We kicked ass. Okay. So Hardy and Rebecca are happy with the way their feuds turned out she's massively over so 6166 that was the attendance for Slammiversary Slammiversary 6166 are we gonna make money I'm doing a below average job oh boy um anyway our public image is at 34 still, so we should be fine. Uh, anyway, that was Slamiverse. That was the biggest show of the year for TNA. Uh, it was a pretty solid show, I'll say that. I uh, just want to quickly check uh, Overnesses. Because, you know, you got to check those. Uh, Kenta is at 84 Overness. And Jeff Hardy is at 93 Overness. That's ridiculous. Ashley flares at 76 not more over than Rebecca Knox though so anyway that'll do it for this episode thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed Slammiversary let me know in the comments below subscribe if you want to see more leave a like on this video and I will see you in whatever I upload next bye